The Cloonies kicked Meg out of liberal cool club after Netflix backlash. US political dream smashed to pieces. Meghan Markle warned closest US allies had been put off over her vanity and arrogance. She's been warned some of her natural allies in the US have been put off by the scale of her vanity and arrogance, following the huge backlash to a Netflix documentary series. The couple makes several more allegations against the royal family in a move many experts have warned could now destroy all ties with Buckingham Palace and the British people. It seemed cultivating the Cloonies and the Obamas were her ticket into the Liberal Cool Club, and then they weren't invited to the big Obama party and the rest is history. The Cloonies seem to have disappeared as well. They don't have a shot in politics now, and they're too old for Hollywood. George Clooney confirmed he's a Liberal member by saying, I'm going to keep saying liberal as loud as I can and as often as I can, Clooney told Newsweek magazine in an interview about the film Good Night and Good Luck, which he co-wrote and directed. Last September at the Toronto International Film Festival, I sat down for a chat with the 57-year-old star. Granted, there were about a dozen other people at the table, but Clooney has a way of working a room so you feel like you're the only one in it. I walk in and it's Tim, Susan, Gore, Vidal, Eddie Vedder, Don Cheadle, Michael Moore and Woody Harrelson, and they're all talking about what they're going to do the next night at the Oscars. Anti-war, anti-Bush, etc. Clooney and O'Reilly, famously far apart on the political spectrum, had clashed over a telephone Clooney had participated in for the victims of 9-11, that the Fox News host said had mismanaged the contributions. Meghan realised that Clooney had long been an active member of the Liberal Party, so she tried her best to forge a relationship with his wife Amal. The good time between the two was rather short and Amal soon ended her friendship with Meg. And George no longer mentioned Meg by name in any political campaigns. Now Meghan has been warned the documentary series has backfired badly on the Duchess in a home country, with her other natural allies turning against her. Now Gardner, a Washington-based foreign policy expert and royal family fan told us, it's striking Meghan has had very little support from the woke liberal elites who haven't come out in force to defend her. The scale of Meghan's vanity and arrogance has even put off some of her natural allies on the American left. This has backfired spectacularly on Meghan and Harry, and this is not the hit that they were hoping it would be. It's alienated the British people, but it's also failed to garner any significant support in America. Americans have no time for complaints against the British monarchy, or complaints of being a victim. Only a small minority in America would have any sympathy for her at all. He added, The royal family is still very popular in the US, and Americans love the British monarchy. With the passing of the Queen, there was a huge outpouring of grief in America. Every US flag was flown at half-mast for over a week. They love the royal family and Meghan attacking the monarchy is certainly not a popular move here. He said, This is a bridge too far for Meghan and Harry with the royal family. There's no turning back now from their latest vicious attacks. They've spectacularly burnt whatever bridges remain with Buckingham Palace, but significantly they've completely destroyed any remaining goodwill that there may have been among the British people.